explores the role of hope in our lives. I'll leave it at that. Give a round of applause, please, to Tim. I've changed my name. I should have done that before I introduced you. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> Is hope an emotion or something much more? Without using Google, I've come up with a theory, which I'd like to share with you. <laughs> All my own work. <laughs> But before I share it with you, who thinks hope is an emotion? Just a thought. Hands up. Uh, so who thinks it's much more part of the fabric of who we are? Interesting, interesting. Well, I think my theory is that there's two uh, types of hope, conscious hope and subconscious hope. Subconscious hope is the difficult one. We'll get there in a minute. Conscious hope's the easy one, because we all think it. We all do it every day. So I'm talking about, uh, I hope my train's going to be on time. I hope Greg's aren't going to run out of those sausage rolls that I like so much. <laughs> Simple stuff that we do every day. Then there's the more important stuff. Um, like, I hope that person's going to get better after that accident they had in hospital. Uh, the person I've been going out with for so long, I hope they accept my marriage proposal. Important stuff. So there's a, a huge range of hope from a conscious level. So uh, over here we've got, I can imagine a businessman who's just uh, done a deal to develop his company, buy the competitor and become hugely rich and uh, very successful. That's what he's hoping for tonight. On the other hand, when I walk back to the station after this event, um, I'll pass probably five or six people holding cups out, hoping I can put a few coppers in there for them to buy a drink. So there's a huge range in the conscious hope. Subconscious hope is much more difficult to explain, but I think I've got a really good way of doing it. So help me with it. You, it it's, subconscious hope is very difficult to understand. It's a bit like when I think about it, I think about space. If you ever think about space, the blackness and our planet suspended in it, when I start thinking about that, my mind sort of goes to scrambled egg. I just can't comprehend it. You'd need to have the the mind of, and the brain of Stephen Hawking to sort of really get it. But I think, I've, as I say, I've got a, a good way of showing, uh, uh, demonstrating what I think. So if you can imagine the floor that your feet are on now, rising up by about two feet, and we'll give it a different colour, we'll call it gold. So you've got this gold sheen cutting through the middle of you now. That's your subconscious hope. So what I'd all like you to do is, if you can put your hands up like that, is if you're doing a Mexican wave. Now I'm going to take that gold plate, if you like, that's cutting through you all. I'm going to lift that off you. I'm going to pop it over there in the corner. So put your hands down there, that's fine. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken all the subconscious hope out of your lives. Now this is where it gets a bit brutal. So if you need an antidepressant at the end of it, I've got some <laughs> in my bag. But from this moment on, your lives aren't going to change. They're staying exactly as they are. So if you're hoping to move house, that's not going to happen. If you're hoping to develop, uh, extend your family, have more children, it's just not going to happen. If you're hoping to get a new job, that's not going to happen. Everything is going to stay exactly as it is. Now you might say to me, Tim, I'm happy with my life. I really like the house that I live in. I've got a nice car. I've got a good job. That's fine. But I just want you to take a few seconds to really think about what it would mean if your lives stayed exactly as they are. 
นาวสวัสดีคุณไม่ใช่ผมแต่เมื่อผมคิดถึงมันผมไม่ชอบมันเพราะผมคิดว่าความฝัน subconscious hope is what really drives us it's what gets us out of bed in the morning it's what um, drives us to do things but we're not thinking about it it's just there it's part of us so it's it's really important it's in our lives and it drives the way we where we're going so it's not something we're thinking about but it's just there in the background so that's my take or what I think Is hope on a conscious level and a subconscious level. But before I finish, you better put your hands back up in the air, so I can put the <laughs> put this back up in the air. Put it down. Just move them a little bit at the back there. You can't fit down. Okay, that's it. Hope is restored. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>